Welcome to Square Root of Graphs. In the previous video, we looked at the absolute value, and today we're going to look at the square root of graphs given a particular function. And we're going to look at the when y equals the square root of the function and y squared equals the function. So let's start with y equals the square root of the function. So when given the graph of the function, then for the square root, so as the square root of negatives do not exist, then any section that's below, because where the function is the y values, any section that's below the x-axis, we can delete it. Plot where the function equals 0 and 1, because when you take the square root of 0 and 1, you get the same coordinates. So they're the easy ones. Any other ones that you know, like the square root of 9, square root of 16, we could plot those as well. For function part that's greater than 1, the square root makes the value smaller. And for the function part that's less than 1, the square root makes it larger, but it's still less than 1. So we know that the square root graph is a sideways parabola. And when it's just the plus square root, it's the top half of the parabola that we're actually drawing. So here's an example. We've used this in the last video. So this is uh, x outside of x minus 6. And we're going to take the square root of that function. So for the section below the axis, x-axis, we're going to delete so it won't exist. We're going to plot where the function equals 0. So basically, where it crosses the x-axis and 1. And then we're going to sketch the rest. So these will become side, two sideways parabola, one going to the right, one going to the left. The one going to the left will start at 0, 0, and the one going to the right will start at 6, 0. And that's how our graph looks. For y squared equals f of x, you follow the same steps as the square root of f of x, and you reflect it across the x-axis. So here's our same graph as before, and we're going to sketch the y squared equals f of x. So the bottom section, the section below the x-axis deletes. We get the same graph as before, two sideways parabolas. But because it's y squared, when you take the square root of the other side, you get plus or minus. That's why it reflects over the x-axis. And this is the graph that we get. So we get a sideways parabola. One has a vertex 0, 0, and the other has a vertex 6, 0. Thank you.